heroes We are team Oh, no love lost between these two Western Conference rivals, and this one should be a good one tonight. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to EA Sports. I'm James Cebulski. He's Ray Ferraro. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Fabro. Well, that didn't take long. Yeah, early in the game, looks like each team trying to get an upper hand. Always amazed at how much a fight takes out of a player for the rest of the day. As they get escorted to the penalty box, They've got to try and regroup so they can play again. Even the officials look exhausted trying to get control of this one. Fong swooping in on the attack. Right in front. Oh, and that goes awry. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Turned aside with the blocker by Saros. Along the right side into the offensive zone. Manages to hang on. Minnesota's got the puck against the half wall. Right in front. Nashville's in transition. And a smart heads up play to put that away. Look out. And they're going to go. Positioning. Coaches will love to show as hard as he could. Goodness. There's a stop with the blocker. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. And a great save. Saros is able to clean the rebound up by deflecting it into the corner. Good stop. Scores! They came, they saw, they took advantage of the rebound and scored. James won the draw. Here comes the pushback. That's generally a no-fly zone with star players. Yeah, they get hit like that. Somebody's going to get irritated. And guess what happens when they get irritated? Down go the men. Go time. Wow, and it's time for referee Gilles Levesque to step on in here, right? Yeah, this is clearly over, James. Move to the middle, and he was right there. They can't connect. And there's the final horn, bringing this one to an end. Grimaldi's hat trick leads the way in this victory. Ray, your thoughts at ice level? Goal scorers are supposed to score. He had opportunities, and he did not miss tonight. It's a foreign concept to think that players like the Rocket or Mr. Hockey would have done this way back when. No, they wouldn't have done this. It's a regular occurrence now. But now things have changed, and this is what you should do. And that's all she wrote on this one for Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. We'll see you next time here on EA Sports. Ray Ferraro for just a couple more minutes here. You get a vote for the Calder, right? Yes, I do. And where are you leaning, can I ask? Uh, I think there's two or three guys now that I've, I've narrowed my sights on. And, okay. Um, the rookie here is is one of them. I, I've just been so impressed with the way that he's been able to perform and produce consistently through this season. He is he's an electric player. Well, it's how many times his name comes up when we're in the middle of a broadcast, right? Yeah, a pretty unscientific way to look at it, but it's true. I mean... There are games where I don't hear you say a player's name. And I'm like, there are way too many of these games this year where you're right there and you're just on the wrong side of the result. All right, back to the phones we go. Becky and Bayside, you're up. Uh, I know, it was so close. I had a long day at work. I come home, I just want to feel good, feel happy, and then I watch that game. I mean, the happiness, though, it did come from the Brook. I mean, he picks up a point. I thought he was really good, but T-Ball, I'm with you. You look, you look at the season, you can't lose these types of games, not this late in the season. And I also hate to see a good effort from the Rook just go to waste. Yeah, no, it's disappointing.
Two teams craving points inside the NHL's Western Conference. Go at it here tonight on the ice. James Cebulski, Ray Ferraro, ready to go. Grant is able to handle that shot with no problem, and he gets it. And he's going after him here. You can't do that to the Stars. Yeah, even if you think it's a clean hit, and I do, it doesn't matter. Somebody's coming after you. And takes him down with authority. The Heat was in control of this boat from the get-go and takes him down to finish it off. Moved out in front! And that one's broken up! Hey, that means the play's supposed to end here. They're still pushing around pretty good. Bong's looking around for somebody to fight. He's going to have to go and fill the dance card somewhere else. Back between the benches to Ray Ferraro. You hearing anything down there? Why? Well, I, I like the coach's tact here. He's talking to the guys about not being frustrated. You'd think this game would be blown wide open with all the chances they've had, but they want to continue the pressure and they want the kid to be part of it. Minnesota's got the puck against the boards. He was totally locked in on that play. A little bump. He scores! Pretty obvious, James. You play from in front, you've got the advantage of the game. That goal gives them the lead. Oh, uh, you'd expect that. The team's leading goal scorer finishes another one. It's pretty rare when you play a game and in the middle of the game, the coach gives you a pat and says you're doing a great job. But the rookie has been excellent tonight. James, he got an assignment early. We heard him talking to the coach about it, and he's delivered. Arizona's in now. Kaboom! Oh, what a hit on the ice. Well, a challenge being laid here. That's generally a no-fly zone with star players. Yeah, they get hit like that. Somebody's going to get irritated, and guess what happens when they get irritated? Down go the men. Go time. Well, I guess that's that. That's that, and it's pretty clear, James, who had the upper hand. The Coyotes have it now. Scooped up along the wall. Right out in front. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Trying to get loose. Oh, it scores! Oh, what a beautiful goal! He broke away up from the puck. Now he's on the breakaway and he shows great confidence to finish this off. Oh, he zipped that right past the goalie. He didn't even think about it, Deke. That's a quick shot. Quick pass across to Trocek. And here comes the pushback. You can't do that to the Stars. Yeah, even if you think it's a clean hit, and I do, it doesn't matter. Somebody's coming after you. Them down to the ice. That's a clear decision there. Pass right on the doorstep. Comes up with a big pad save to deny. Extra attacker at one end, but an empty net at the other as his faceoff looms. Yeah, you draw the play up, you look for the faceoff win for a quick shot. to an end. The Coyotes came close, but not close enough, Ray. Maybe that's the step they need to. Tonight as we are joined on the line by Ray Ferraro, I mean, that's a big time effort all around, wouldn't you say? Yeah, as you get late in the year, you're especially a year like this where you can't quite make out what the team is. Are they good or bad, or are they somewhere in between? It yeah. seems like I know, that's where they are. So those points are big, and, uh, you know, they got a boost from a 
the rookie last night who has had a really good year for them and um, you know he can he combines uh, to get on the board a couple of times I I like the way that he impacted the game last night can't even imagine where they'd be without him all right we'll be back Oh, it's an electric atmosphere inside the building tonight for this Western Conference clash. Shane Sabolski, Ray Ferraro, ready to bring you all the details here for EA Sports. And he makes the save. Moves it quickly over to Fong. And he makes the easy save. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Markstrom's up. Yeah, he got a little testy once the whistle blown. He's pushing him out of there. Fong's ready to go. Apparently, the other guy doesn't want anything to do with him. Almost at the finish line. Request for the Calder. Ray, sum up the kid's performance in your mind. Terrific year. I mean, you can nitpick some games here or a week here and a week there where it hasn't been great. But I think start to finish, he's been among the very best rookies in this league. He's got to be in the mix for rookie of the year in your mind? Absolutely, James. I mean, we're at the end of the year here. I. I can't imagine a way that he doesn't come out on top given the season that he's had. To the front! Goalie with the stop. Great tracking. They're still shoving long after the whistle's gone here. Somebody wants to go. Dances around the defender. Look out! Markstrom's going to hang. Oh, still pushing and shoving. The whistle doesn't bring this play to a halt at all. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Minnesota's got possession of the puck. Oh, he stops it with the glove. Great reflexes there. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Calgary's got it along the wall. A chance denied by the goaltender. Tees it off and gets way too much air as that sails high. Yeah, I'm not so sure that that's the shot he intended to make. And that's wide of an end. Net is empty. The extra attacker is now out on the ice. And that's all she wrote from this one here tonight. Calgary's winning ways are showing no end here, Ray. No, they're not, James. I mean, I, I love the way they're playing. And when you watch them play, it seems like they're going to win all the time. They have total belief in their team. For Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabolski. We'll see you next time we drop the puck. And, you know, you, you want to look at it in, in some respects. Hey, they had a tough night as a team. But I'll tell you what, a pretty forgettable night for the rookie. And there's been a lot to like from the youngster. He has been one of the better players and one of the better stories on this team this season. This isn't one of those nights you'll be finding highlights to celebrate this season at the end of the year, though. Off night, uh, bad, just bad in his own end. And, and that's and not to sit there and just be too harsh about it, but I think he knows deep down. He had an off night, and I think he'll be reminded of the coaching staff about this coming up when they skate a little later on tomorrow. All right, we got lots more we're going to get to elsewhere around the National Hockey League.
and now he moves it quickly to Dumba. Takes a shot. That's blocked by Kemper. Puck is frozen and we will get a face-off. Hey, that means the play's supposed to end here. They're still pushing around pretty good. Good read with the stick to break that up. Redirected shot! Score! It's a go-ahead goal as they get in front. The power play comes through for them. You go all in here with an opportunity to change. Colorado's got a hold of the puck. Kemper is going to cover. Hey, usually the whistle is going to stop the play. I guess not tonight. Minnesota's won the draw. Driving right to the front. And here comes the pushback. You can't do that to the Stars. Yeah, even if you think it's a clean hit, and I do, it doesn't matter. Somebody's coming after you. Oh, and he hammers him and sends him down to the ice. That's a clear decision there. Wrist shot from the slot. Stopped by the goaltender. Denies him again. Slides the puck over. Oh, gets a piece of it with the glove. Oh, an unbelievable stop by Kemper. And this one is all over as the final horn sounds. Colorado's finding ways to win in so many different areas here, Ray. Doesn't seem to matter where the game goes, like which direction it is, if it's open or tight checking. They seem to have the answer for all of it. Man, it's fun to play like this. And as we put a bow on the regular season, we can all sit back for a moment, take a deep breath, because the playoffs are on tap. For Ray Ferraro, I'm James Cebalski. Good night. Looky, looky, looky here. I mean, this is unbelievable. Raise your hand if you called it. And if you do raise your hand, you're lying. So put it back down. But for the kid to walk away with the Rocket Richard Trophy as the league's top goal scorer in a freshman year, that is mind-blowing in my opinion. I mean, to be able to do that, to dominate the best goaltenders in the world your first year in the league, just think of what the potential is for this kid in year two, three, four, five, as he gets more and more adjusted and acclimated to playing against the best players in the league. One of the most dominated offensive performances we've seen in quite some time, and that was done by a rookie. Really impressive stuff that we saw there. All right, still to come here on the show, 